Guys, welcome back to another one. Seems a flooded season's just around the corner. What I'm gonna do with this one is just actually tell you guys my two all-time favorite lures, best lures I use for flathead fishing. Over the last few years, I've done a handful of videos and pretty much use the same lures. And a lot of you guys have been asking what the brand is and what they are. Um, some of you guys know it's the soft plastic one, but none of you know what the big hard body is. Uh, so today I'm just gonna uh, tell you what they are, but before we, before we get to that, we'll just go through a few lures here that'll work for flathead in case you guys are you know, new to it and wanna know, wanna go and have a bit of fun. I'll just show you some common ones and that will work for you. But before we do that, get into that guys, I am gonna ask you to do one favor for me. Please hit the subscribe button down below as it will really help the channel out, thanks. Now, okay, flathead season not far away, and there's a couple of ways we can go around about it. We can troll lures. A lot of people like trolling little hard bodies, which is great. You can cast big hard bodies, you can cast um, swim baits, you can live bait for them, you can cast soft plastics. There's so many different ways to catch flathead. I know flathead are basically just an ambush predator, they're quite a lazy fish. They'll sit in one area where the tide will rush past them and you know, sweep all the bait fish and stuff out and I'll eat them. You've got to actually think on whereabouts the fish are going to be sitting, okay, to get a good feed and you cast your lures through that area, pepper that area, or baits or whatever you're going to use. So the main way people go is just casting soft plastics, going along the edge of the banks in their boat or walk on the banks and just work on the edges, okay, work on the drop-offs. Over high water, the fish will go up and sit in the shallows and you basically, you know, sunbathe in a nice shallow warm water and look for a few, and hunt a few bait, bait fish like whiting. Okay, they do, they don't mind whiting bigger fish. Uh, and when we're fishing for them, well, they're over high tide casting shallow running hard bodies or lighter soft plastics with lighter dig heads so you don't sink into the mud and weed and sand. Um, but most people generally just a basic way is just work the edges. Just walk along or the banks and cast out and work the edges or if you're on a boat cast up on the bank and just work the edges back okay and look for gutters where there's drainage with water coming out okay from the as the tide's dropping or low tide look for the drains and cast around the drains because that's where the bait fish and stuff's been swept out and it's where the flathead are going to be sitting okay just very simple things like that but instead i'm not this is not going to be a big flathead vid, uh, video on how to catch flathead i'm just going to show you a few lures so guys, you're new to it, I'm just gonna, here's a few basic lures. Okay, when you first flathead start flathead fishing, you're gonna be looking for outfits with a 2500 reel. So, a white metal brand or whatever, so that's like a little 2500. It's only there to require a small reel. And you're gonna be putting six, eight, 10 pound line on it. I've got eight on mine, I like eight, okay? And you're gonna run yourself a nice, basically carbon fiber rod. A little bit stiff on the tip, so when you're, given the twitches for your plastics or your big hard bodies, you're actually getting an action out of your lures. You don't need to go spending big money like I have on these outfits. Like you can start off Shimano, Sienna combos and stuff around 100 bucks, 150 dollars, Daiwa. You get some reasonable little outfits for this for around 100, 150, 50 dollars without spending a fortune, just to get into it, have a bit of fun. And then you just get some soft plastics. Anything with like a paddle tail is very good, okay? Just they've got a lot of action to them. They'll actually, a lot of action kicking in the water. You don't have to put a lot with your rod. The tail's got a bit in it. And generally I run about a, a quarter ounce head and the hook depends on the size of the lure. For that's probably about a 2.0, maybe a 3.0, depending on the brand of jig heads you're gonna use, okay? Uh, you can go buy them rigged up as well, already pre-rigged, like BCF do these prawns here. These are a good thing to go cast around the flats. They're a weedless one, so if you've got a bit of weed around, these are quite good, they'll sit like so. They've got weight on the bottom. And you can twitch these around some, you know, there's some flats with a bit of weed on them. These are quite good, okay? Just some prawns. They do a couple there, there's another one there, it's not weedless. You can see the jig head, small jig head. So this will sink down slowly, and as you jig it, the tail kicks, they've got a lot of action to them. They're not bad. The other way to go is you know, a lot of guys like trawling, so just go slow trawling, but when you're trawling, there's one thing you must do. 
and that is always troll with the current guys so when you pick a bank and you want to run along the edge go with the current when you get to the end of your run go out and around up to your thing and do it again just go with the current you'll have better hook up rates the reason being is the way the flathead will sit they'll sit okay facing into the current to ambush all the baits coming past so if the current's going that way you're you're going to be trolling with the current the flathead are going to be sitting there looking that way so you're going to drag the flathead uh, the lures right into their noses okay you're always at the end of the current so and troll with the current you can zigzag if you want but generally just a slow troll with the current and the most popular lure around here there's two actually sorry make we'll make it three there's three little popular lures for trolling for flathead fishing you got good old micro mullets okay you get these online for a live online from Lively Lewis. Some tackle shops still have them, I believe. Okay. Uh, you got the Xerix. Little Xerix are always a popular one. And my favorite, actually, surprisingly, are the locally made ones. This, these ones are pig lures, a guy called Pig. Oh, his name's Shane, Shane Garner. He's a good, good, good guy. Makes these pig lures. These things are awesome. These are my favorite, I like these. Okay. You can get them in tackle shops. I'm not sure if he does them online yet. You can have a look for Pig Lewis. Probably does now. He's been doing it for a few years. Okay. Uh, so trolling, you know, trolling your little hard bodies. And you can cast these too if you walk along the banks. You can cast them. Okay. Like I said before, the other way to go is this soft plastics with a good paddle tail. Nice soft paddle tail. Get plenty of action with a quarter ounce head and a, like a two hour or a three hour on it. Okay. And then you've got like the bigger hard bodies. These are the jerk baits. I run, this is a double clutch. I haven't used this one yet, but I bought it to actually run along the deeper edges instead of up in the shallows all the time. So I actually go down to a couple of meters and that one looks good. I think, you know, Twitch basically jerked that along the deeper edges. See how it goes this season. Um, another good one in the bigger hard bodies. If you have a trouble finding, we got the old Rapala. I think this is a ripstop. Some shops still have a few ripstops left over. These are little crackers, caught a lot of fish on these things, okay? They're a good one for twitching over the flats. The little bib and he dies very shallow, very good one. Uh, okay, the heads I usually run. Uh, TTs most of the time, so you've got quarters and three eighths. I generally run a quarter, because I'm usually fishing up in the shallows, but if I'm fishing in a bit deeper water or a bit of current, I'll go to three eighths. Hook size, depending on your lures, okay? Colors vary day by day. I either use green or pink. It's one of those two colors that's gonna work. Okay, guys, now the bit you come here for, the lures I actually run, okay? My all-time favorites, these are my absolute favorites, are these jerk baits here. Okay, a few guys are asking me what these are and where you can get them in Australia. Unfortunately, you can't get these in Australia. Surprisingly, these are a cheap lure from a cheap lure from I believe I got them from AliExpress. Yeah, Chinese made things, but they don't fall apart. I think I've had one fall apart out of about twenty. The rest of them I just lost to big fish and snags. Okay, these are a fifteen centimeter jerk bait. I I did find one in a brand new one in the box. I will show you the box and the brand. So if you want to go chase them down and get them, they're not expensive. They're actually quite cheap. The only downfall is you've got to wait a few weeks to get them. That's all. And since flooded season's just around the corner, now might be the time to go order some of these. And to be honest, the guys I fish with, one guy swore black and blue. He had never used anything but plastics. He's a plastic fisherman all the way. Always plastics. Now, I can't get him off these freaking things. He does still use plastics, but 90% of the time he's using these like me. These are that good. They really do catch fish. And I'll catch them small fish to very, very large fish. A lot of the big fish you've seen in my videos, these things, okay? That one's missing the hook, but there you go. And you can see the bibs. But when I jerk these and twitch these over the flats, I can actually get these down to about a metre. I can really work them hard and get them down, and you're really aggressive with them, as you've seen in some of my videos. Don't be gentle. And what they actually are, guys, here it is here. It's called a bear, bear king, and it's got sparrow, okay? So if you go online and look for bear king, Bear King Lures, and then look for the Sparrow, you'll come across these. These are 15 centimeter jerk baits. They come in a variety of colors. My all time favorites, yeah, white and chartreuse and just plain white. 
but the other one I like is on the right here already ready to go for tomorrow that's the silver silver with the red head for some reason on sunny days this thing is a weapon on sun, real sunny bright days this thing's awesome on dull days they're the white ones white and chartreuse or just plain white and guys you won't miss you'll get plenty of fish if they're around they love these things okay there's a white with red head you can see there it's called a sparrow and once again bear king you can where's, where's the name on there i can show you on the end hey you can see that bear king okay the top of my line they will come up and uh, aliexpress i believe i where i got them all from and if you don't want to wait for that the other ones i did find in australia that do work well are uh, similar to that are uh, these ones eight athletes okay these things also are a very good lure the only downside to these is they're a quick float, so I float back to the surface. So I put a little bit of lead wire around the hooks just so they're a slow float or suspending. If you can do that, these things work really well too, okay? But they're the closest I've come to in Australia to that. And by the way, these things here are a slow, slow float. So when you're twitching them and when you give them good paws, which you got to, well, that's when the fish will hit them. These things are a very, very, very slow float. So they work an absolute treat. The other ones I'd look at too, I bought this, I think it'd be quite good. This is duo, little jerk, jerk shack, jerk bait and a duo. That thing looks good, it looks like a little whiting, so I'm gonna give that a crack. It's probably gonna be all right, okay? So they're, they're the big hard bodies I run on the NRX, my little Luvius, this is also eight pound. I run a 16 pound liter when I'm running the big ones. Not too heavy, but 16 seems to work quite well. And I run the 883 NRX. This thing's really stiff. Like, look at that. It's really, really stiff. So whatever I do with the rod, the lure does. I want those lures. I want to really rip them and get those lures working. Then give them a really good pause. I might really, really rip them, get them dancing, then pause. And the fish will hit these things on the pause. I'll smash these things on the pause. Okay? And before we... And the next one, before this video gets too long, guys. The next one... So these are my two go-to. Go so they've got that one. You've seen it in videos many a times, but this is the first time I've told you what it is. My second one, okay, once again, nice light 2500, eight pound braid. But this time I use a 12 pound leader. And there's my go-to soft plastic. This, my, this is my go-to. And if this is not working, I go home, seriously. This is a Atomic uh, Crawdad five inch grub tail. This thing, I run a quarter ounce jig head in it, usually pink. Pink's the main one I use, okay? I think it's like a 2.0 hook. It is a 2.0, 2.0 heavy hook. Uh, pink, that's a five inch atomic crawdad grub tail. That's my all time favorite lure to go to. You got me Bear King one there for under the flats and chasing big girls up in the flats. That thing very rarely misses if they're not hitting that. It's very strange. We'll try this for a while to chase a few smaller fish or get a feed or just have a bit of fun. And if this is not working, go to hell home. <laughs> Simple. If you're not getting fish on these two lures, they're not working. They're not feeding. Uh, go home or wait for a tide change or wait for something to change before you try again, okay? I haven't got a pack, packet of Atomics. Sorry, guys. These are my last ones. I'm just about out, which is um, scary. I have to go get, track some more down. I think Anglers has got them, and I also think Kev at Gold Coast Tackle carries the Atomics and the Crawdads, okay? Five inch grub tail, go to lure, pink head, you're on. You're doing, gonna do well. And once again, that one's a 12 pound leader, so I run 16 pounds and 12 pounds. Anyway guys, um, that's a basic breakdown of the lures I run. So flat head, as I said, ambush predators will eat any of these. If you drag them close enough, but my go-tos are the Bear King and the Atomic, okay? If those two lures aren't working, we're not getting fish. Go chase something else or go home or wait until the tide changes. Wait till they come on the tube and those two won't miss, okay guys? They're really good lures. They're actually fantastic lures. I do run these other ones at times to play, but I'll be honest, I don't think, if you watch go through some of my older flathead fishing videos, you're gonna see that one and that one. That one always and that one in different colors. The only two lures I basically run. I just don't worry about it. I've got a box full of gear now. I don't even use it. I just go to these two. 
And, well, I was hoping to go for a kayak fish today, but unfortunately I've got to go to work. But hopefully, maybe tomorrow or something, I'll go for a run, take these out for the first session of the year and see how we go. Well, guys, until then, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found it useful. And if you, if you do actually get go online and buy some of these and get them, let me know in the comments. And especially if you take them out and use them, I bet you'll love them. They work well for a cheap lure overseas. They are really good. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, please, guys. It helps me out. <laughs> Thanks. See you next week.